Okay, so the next level is uh, Krabby Beach. Krabby Beach is where we get the super hoop. It's where this game starts getting fast. Now there are two different methods for this tutorial. I'm going to show both. So the easier method is uh, you just do the level like normal, but you super hoop down and you kill all of these blue enemies to open the gate. Now if you do that perfectly and you get perfect RNG, it's a half second faster than the other method I'm going to show you. But on average, you will lose about a second and a half by doing that. So, yeah, I'm bad at this method, even though I do it in runs. So you would do that, and you would go through this level like normal, stand on the buttons, and then super hoop through those gates. Now that is, that is the killing the enemies method. The other method would be if you just stood here and then you ran slightly off to the left then go over here and you activate the mailbox alright and press start to skip the mailbox jump on top of the mailbox now here this is the hardest part of it you're gonna jump off to the left and then you're, for your second jump you'll turn to the right and you'll ledge grab the ceiling see that's what happens when you miss it usually if you miss it you might as well do it again now once you're up here immediately start not like that. <laughs> I would have been moving, so it would have been fine. And then double jump up here. Double jump over here. Single jump over there. Now that was a lot that just happened there. Those jumps, you'll just have to practice them. It's I use little cues in the textures to tell me where to jump from. It's not that complicated, though. So for here, the method that I use for BJ to IJ, which is the next... Uh, trick in the game is I put the hoop on X. Some people have the hoop on circle, which I don't understand, but they can have their fun. But I put it on X. Now you're gonna want to super hoop over here, then turn left right there. Now here you're gonna want to double jump, except with the hoop momentum and just catch this guy. You would neutral, you would boost jump off of there. Go watch Marquette's tutorial if you want to learn how to do that. Double jump over those. Ugh. <laughs> And then you can just jump and catch this monkey. He, what he does is, uh, wait, hold on, I gotta read this. What he does is dependent on what you do for the first monkey, pretty much. So, here, three infinite, uh, three infinite jumps, and then one single jump, and then take out the net and catch him easiest monkey in the game. If you want to practice BJ to IJ, I would also go to Mark Hess tutorial. That's what I'm doing here, which is you boost jump to an infinite jump, and then you maintain most of the momentum from the hoop throughout your infinite jumps. So now, at the beginning of each level, we are going to immediately switch to the hoop, and then boost jump onto the button. Saves a tiny bit of time per time, but we do it so many times that it ends up mattering. So this is Coral Cave. What we're going to do here is immediately start the hoop like we do on every level from now on. And we're going to do four BJ to IJs. Alright. Well, what you... Uh, let me go back, actually. I'll demonstrate that better. Well, let's cut that out. So what we're going to do here is four BJ to IJs. And then double jump onto here. And you catch that monkey pretend that I caught him. Now this is the shark monkey. He is very annoying. Pretty much just catch him. He would be in a much better position if you caught him. Now here, you're going to immediately catch that monkey first no matter what. <clears throat> but uh, then you're going to hit this guy because he will run away and catch him. Use the super hoop, go over here, cancel it, and fall into the water. And yes, B-Man, I am reading chat, I'm just not responding super well. Now here you're just going to IJ up to this monkey. I failed it there, but it's not that big of a deal. And just catch that monkey. Not that hard.
B-Man, I'm explaining my methods for doing most of these things. If you have a different method, feel free to post something on it, but I'm explaining what I do in each of these situations. So now again, switch to the hoop, spin it, and boost jump onto the button. The next level is Dexter's Island. Now I'm going to be showing a few strategies here for one part of the level as well. <clears throat> for the beginning here, it is faster to hold right on the D-pad to change the camera to reduce lag, but for most beginners, you're just going to want to hoop straight, and then hit him with the hoop, which will cancel hoop, and do that. Now, for here, you're going to have to do a BJ to IJ to be able to make this, pretty much, and you're just going to go straight up here, 6, 7, 8, double jump onto this monkey and catch him. Now, there is a faster way to do this. You can... You can BJ to IJ onto the boat from here, but it's much safer to just go over here and just boost jump onto it. Very easy. And you can run over these little peg things to make it a more direct route. And then just go into here. <coughs> now, alright, so there are a few methods for what you can do here. One thing, the old way that people used to do it, is they would start here and they would just go down here like this. Just run along the wall, then go up. Once you're down here, single jump out. Avoid these germs. And then you'll just IJ up here. Now this is called old tentacle skip. Because nobody really does this anymore. So what you would do is you would ledge grab there, and you would go up here. I'll do it again because I failed it. I haven't done this in so long, I just have no clue what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so. Holy crap. So this guy's a little bit of a meanie butt face. I'm just gonna kill him, actually. He's annoying me. So. <laughs> now that I've killed him, you'd infinite jump up here. takes a lot of infinite jumps to get up here, and jump up here. Now from here, you're going to want to jump to that area right there. And you're just going to jump, you can ledge grab, do whatever you want, just get down here, and go in here. Now that's the old method. Now for here, you're going to want to stay near the bottom to give the monkeys the best chance of being in the middle and on the right. You want them both to be in the middle, then you would come down here and you would catch them both, whatever. I have to show the other methods for the tentacle skip now. So, the other method, I'm not going to show the fastest method. If you want to look at the fastest method, uh, you can go to Yosuke77's channel. Uh, he has Dexter's Island skip. It's the fastest way to do it, and it's ridiculously hard. So... What's called safe tentacle skip is you would double jump over here and then use the stun club to change your direction. Then you'd hoop down to here and ride this wall with the with that out. So then you're going to ledge grab and you're going to want to immediately jump up and turn around and do seven infinite jumps. Four, five, six, seven. Double jump over and then you're going to be up here. Now from here, you're going to want to go directly straight from where you landed. Alright? So super hoop down and then BJ to IJ directly straight. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then that's it. Then switch to the hoop. Go down here, do the same thing. Right at the bottom. 